Filthy Talk, a Filthy Lots live weekly panel discussion show coming to you live from North Vancouver on the traditional territories of the Squamish Nation. We'd like to recognize the privilege to work, play, and create on these beautiful lands. Uh, we have a, a bit of a special event here today, as tomorrow is the premiere of our big show you've probably been hearing us talk about. If not, Very it's your first time here. It's called Ready to Roll. It is a Dungeons & Dragons tabletop show. And uh, uh, yeah, that comes out tomorrow, and we've got a big event. We'll talk about that later. Uh, for now, I am Trevor Gemma. Normally sitting next to me is Roz Young. She I is here, Roz but Young. today it's Chris Livingston. Hello. And Roz is over here. We got Roz Young and Matt Baker. <laughs> <laughs> and also joining us on the panel, Beverly <laughs> and Alain Williams. Uh, and the reason we have all come together is this is most of the cast of Ready to Roll. Uh, Shalia could not join us today. Unfortunately, she is not in town. So, can't be here. That would be like, it's difficult. impressive. It, it Shay, would be impressive. Shay, yeah. Shay, Shay, yeah. Shay, yeah. But she will be here on uh, future episodes as we continue to release this show. She is um, missed. Yeah, yes. indeed. Yeah. Um, okay, so before we get into what we're talking about today, uh, nerd news. Uh, who wants to talk about what for nerd, nerd news? news? Do you have anything? Uh, <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> There's a couple things going on. Uh, they, the Morbius trailer dropped. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. oh really? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm j um... Oh, no. Huh? Oh, it's, all right, <laughs> well, it's on you now. All right, look. So um, I've, been, I've been, since the theaters have uh, been able to open up again here, yeah. I, I've been... Uh, 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 privileged and blessed to be able to go watch bad films with my f friends again. Yeah. Um, Is that just because, are you choosing the bad ones or they all just happen to be bad? Well, they, <laughs> well, we've gone in with certain expectations and they have not disappointed. Like so far, we, I mean, we'll go and watch like the good ones also, but like for the m most part, it's been like Snake Eyes and Venom oh. 2 and, and things like that. And like- Was Venom 2 not good? The Venom, hey, hey. Venom, <laughs> like, Venom, Venom 1 has all of the problems of a, of a, of a, a superhero film made in the early 2000s. Mm. And like you kind huh. of applaud them for it. But the fact that they made a sequel that was even more that thing, like the pacing is buck wild. Oh. Like, like the character, uh, motivations make zero sense. The acting choices are choices, <laughs> and and the whole like the whole Scathing. time me and my friends yeah. are watching this, and our faces are just a big question mark. <laughs> and then uh, 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 early in the morning, when the the uh, the m m m Morbius trailer dropped, my friend sent it to me like really, really early, so like I woke up, I checked my, my, my phone, and it was like the first thing I saw that day, and I'm still not sure I actually watched it, because oh. it was fucking weird. Yeah. And I know it's not gonna be good, but what if it is? Oh, it's not gonna be good. And then also, yeah. and then also we, we, we kind of all went, we're gonna watch that shit. We gotta go watch that shit. Next yeah. on the list. Just to just. I think, I think I said the exact same thing. I was like, this doesn't look good. I'm still gonna go see it, but <laughs> yeah. I don't think this and looks very good. And that's why it's gonna make its money back because of pessimistic nerds and uh, the Chinese market. <laughs> They're gonna make their money back hand over fist. You looking it up right now? <laughs> it's what is more, morbid, Morbius? Morbius, don't look up Morpheus, you get a very different result. Yeah. Yeah. Mor <laughs> Morbius. I'm Googling instead of asking because, uh, Wait, no, it, it auto-corrects. the fact checkers today. Oh, yeah, dual yeah. fact checkers. Well, y'all gonna yell at me for not knowing what the shit this thing is? No, they're gonna for yell at you to tell me. On Tilted Talk, maybe. Um, <laughs> last no. time I was in here was for a fight, so I think I just have my, last time I was in this seat. It looks bad and I can't wait. I'm not sure what we're It looks, I mean, it's Hollywood, it? but so they, they've taken some, uh, movie. Leeway, <laughs> yeah, liberties also, how on the whole shade Morbius early thing. Early 2000s superhero movies. I, I'm just saying their time has passed. They don't oh. make them oh. like that anymore, yeah. and right. they shouldn't. No, they shouldn't. I actually, they, I thought Venom got shit on a lot, and I, I. Maybe it's because my expectations were so low because everyone was shitting on it. Right. But I really enjoyed the first one. I just it's fun. Seen the it's a yeah. fun it ride. It's and, just like, um, strange. Or Tom Hardy. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. And yeah. Hardy. Yeah. Wow. And then Carnage is uh, uh, Woody Harrelson. No, should, it's, yeah. that's Tom Hardy in an Ed Hardy shirt. Nothing. Oh boy. 
All right. Uh, but Morbius is a vampire, uh, Spider-Man villain. Yes. Yeah, he's like a weird vampire that like science vampire. Yeah. sucks plasma through his hands instead of like. Yeah, they don't do any of that. Out of into the Spider Man. They, they, they no, have Batman, Spider Man, Spider -Man just a or vampire? like yeah. film noir Spider Man from the, the. He's not in that film, but like he's from like the Spider Man Rogues. Yeah. Gallery. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's just a bad guy in he's a comic book. A, he's, like one of those, he's, he's one of those semi-bad guys because he, yeah, he's, he's like, sort of good, sort of bad. Good this is like, like, it sounds to me like a meal at the end, like right before you have to do a grocery shop. Like what's in my fridge? Vampires and Spider-Man. All right, we're going to put them right, in a pot, go. add yeah. some fucking... I mean, Dracula is also a Marvel villain. Yeah, that's Actual true. Dracula. That's true. Yeah, there's like X-Men versus Dracula. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. <laughs> but but, but Big Mary ass Shelley ass. would... Anyway. Yeah, but yeah, there's straight Bram up. Stoker. I mean, Blade is yeah. a vampire. Bram Stoker. Bram Stoker. And you. And Blade. Blade. Check. You're, yeah. <laughs> you're aware of Blade. No, look how yeah. hero. He's yeah. a vampire hunter in the what? Marvel universe. <laughs> Why, why hasn't Hollywood jumped in there with their sharp They're about sharp to. Yeah, they were about to. They're going Have you not to. seen yeah. Blade 1 through Trinity? Yeah. The, the first <laughs> Blade film is the first Marvel film. Yeah. So. And All I know are the Wesley Snipes memes. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that was Blade, and then they made a series, and now they're, bringing, they're doing a new Blade. Yeah. Um, did you have any nerd news things? Oh, I just, I've been playing a lot of uh, the new... Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy game, which Ooh. a lot of people are ignoring because really they like it. think that it's going to be like the Avengers game, hot trash. Uh, it is great. It yeah. is so it's much better really than I expected it to be. I agree. The, the story is a better Guardians of the Galaxy story than the movies. Like, it feels more like the comics. I prefer their, the game's versions of some of the characters to yep. the movie versions. I love the movies. I, I'm a sucker for all things Guardians of the Galaxy. Nice. Uh, but like, it's the story is good enough that when I finish it, I'm gonna make Roz sit and we're gonna play through it on story mode so she oh. can see the story. The story is like, really good. I, you guys I've should also been playing it, so it. I don't have to buy it. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I'm, I would give it two thumbs up. I highly recommend oh. that game. It is very good. The story is awesome. I, it's really the the only relation to the movies is that you can get the skins for the characters yeah. from the movies. Yes. Mm. That's yeah. about it. But unlike the Avengers, they didn't do like a, we want to be look like the movie, but we're not allowed to. Yeah. Like They oh. were just like, no, these are our own character designs. Oh, nice. Yeah. Our, like, cool. Everything is their own. Um, it's not revolutionary in terms of gameplay, but it pulls from a bunch of different genres and mixes them in a way that actually feels good, unlike Biomutant, which was like, yeah. A beautiful failure. I really wanted um, that to be good. A, but, a uh, lot of almost, that'd be a great band name. Beautiful yeah. failure. Beautiful <laughs> failure. <laughs> Same dude. I think Nori used to play bass for Beautiful Failure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it gives it a really Long unique time. feel time. while still being yeah. familiar. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. No. Sweet. Good call. Would um, highly recommend that. I have noticed that we have a What's in the Box redeemed. Already. Oh. So you guys have trivia prepared, yes? We have trivia! Okay, so uh, just to quickly ex re-explain the rules for those of you in uh, uh, Twitch land is that uh, a trivia question will be uh, read out. Jesus, my brain just totally stopped for a second. Uh, <laughs> you will be presented with a trivia question and the first correct answer in the chat gets to choose the prize from under one of those boxes. Pick a number one through five and you will win the corresponding prize. Is there a flavor uh, so, to our trivia questions today? Is there a what? Is there a flavor to our trivia questions? Uh, today? Yes. Or is it leftovers uh, in the fridge? I believe we are D&D themed, correct? Yes. Oh, baby, we are. OK, ask Do you want to rock, paper, scissors? Who goes first? Yeah, I'm going to go first. No. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Mandatory fun. <laughs> Mandatory fun. Who? Nope. I'm going to try a different one. <laughs> what year did D&D 5e get released? Ooh, I bet you that gets answered fast. Uh, you guys don't get to answer on the panel. No, we don't get to answer. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm biting my tongue. I we sadly, already have a winner! I was going to say, I bet that's going to be a fast one. Is it Night Medic? Oh, yeah. Not Ooh. this time. Oh, Ooh, normally. Dump truck! Dump, dump truck! truck. Okay, dump truck. Pick a number yeah, uh, yeah. one through five. I always want to say between between zero and six. <laughs> Just not, any, not neither zero nor six. What Anything in the middle, though. What dump truck answer? <laughs> 2014. 
I would have said 2013, but that's when they started to play test. Yeah, early. And for some reason, I would have said 1976. But, uh, <laughs> but what did he pick? 75. Because he weren't. Yeah. Number he three. Fox, number three. Want to open number three? Sure. Yeah. Number three. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Ooh. Ooh. What is it? I love puzzles. We've got I'll a do puzzle. A, puzzle with you. a Marvel puzzle. Oh, hey. That'll be a good one. Put that like that now. There you go. A Marvel puzzle. I That'll be there know. for you. That's it. So, there. Uh, uh, Dumb Truck, you are, congratulations. You have won a Marvel, is it Marvel Villains? Yep. A Marvel Villains thousand piece puzzle. There you go. Uh, yeah, so um, <laughs> puzzles are fun. So, yeah, if you, uh, uh, I, I, I know that this doesn't apply, but I'm just going to say it anyway for standardization. So, please send us a whisper on Twitch and tell us your shipping address, and we will send that off to you. Uh, <laughs> 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 Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, before we move on to the main category of the day, we can set you guys up at home with a little glimpse of what we're going to be talking about. Yeah. So, Alex, could you please play that trailer? Welcome back, heroes. Do you promise that you'll help some people? We have a very good reputation for not murdering people. Shh, don't die. I want to throw some acid on a pixie. Temple, that's the word I was looking for. You're a cleric. <laughs> Let me see that. <gasps> and I'm gonna reach for my spear. I'm like, I'm not on their side. I'm totally on your team. A good yeah. portion of it belongs in a museum, and a good portion of it belongs in our pockets. Does any one of you speak common? No? All right then, death it is. Who wants a shot? Bursting out of their chest like <laughs> their noodle arms. Now we are wrestling. What? <laughs> I am not a barbarian. You drank blood out of a reed in my arm. Somebody gave you a quest to judge dogs. Yeah, 100%. Back right up. Guys, I got a bike. We're on a mission from gods. Double botch. Catman. Hello. Are you ready to roll? Yeah! I don't know. I'm excited about that. I hope. Everybody at home is excited about Hell that. Yeah. Yes. Super excited. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and now you can see, uh, uh, you might see a similarity in the clothing that all of us are wearing today. Yes. We're and wearing what that. You just saw. I can't believe they still fit. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't worn this this uh, this outfit in a while, but you, but you 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 know I have. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't need to share that with the audience. Yeah. They can't smell I it. That was hey, me until until, I'm until s s s smell of vision happens, I am here to 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 help with uh, the the olfactory yes. senses. <laughs> Descriptive television. Okay, so uh, tomorrow on Twitch and on uh, uh, it's it's uploaded to YouTube at uh, YouTube dot com slash a filthy quest line and tomorrow on Twitch I was gonna set us up now we've got first of all a one shot that we are playing DM'd by Roz Young mm -hmm. uh, uh, Chris and I will be playing with Linus and Luke from Linus Tech Tips a Very one excited. shot uh, for two hours so that's starting at 1 30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for those of you interested uh, we'll be playing that for two hours and then we will be playing the premiere of Ready to Roll and pay close attention take notes because immediately following the premiere, we will be doing a trivia contest on here, similar to what's in the box, but not the same thing, but it's all gonna be trivia questions based on that first episode. So pay attention and because you're gonna have a chance to win a lot of cool there's stuff. Some, there's some good prizes. Yeah. You know, just list in one, there's a PS5 on there the table here, okay? There is a PS5, okay? there's a, uh, uh, an OLED Nintendo Switch, and there's a bunch of D&D module books and uh, guidebooks and stuff like that. So there's All sorts of good stuff. Amazing prizes to win tomorrow. Yeah. So please tune in for that. Ah. Now. I'm not allowed <laughs> to participate in said trivia? No. <laughs> Employees are, are, are not eligible to win. We are forbidden. Yes. What about distant relatives? No. <laughs> hey. I mean, yes, but... I mean, they're not allowed to share in the. Can't be feeding them answers. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Relatives aren't employees. They're eligible. Yeah. Oh no, that was a joke. I was... You're gonna create a fake account and pretend that you're your own cousin? <laughs> My good old uncle I know here. <laughs> I mean, you still need to get it right. Mm. That's you have so... an evil twin sister, or yeah. a good twin. I have two evil, evil sisters. One's older, one's younger. Just kidding. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'm super jealous that you guys get to revisit your characters, though. Like, I, it's weird. Like, every time, like, when we started doing our one shots here uh, through Filthy Class Line and stuff, like, as soon as I was back in the D&D scene, I was like, it, 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 I felt like I was missing 
a person who was close to me. Oh. And I was like, man, I really, I miss like, I really miss Arin. I really miss Sanguina. Like I, you know, yeah. I even miss Elendar. Like. I'm here all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, miss me. That's but I'm so bitch. envious that you get to go back and play your characters. Well, I mean, fun. If, uh, if everyone loves this show, then I mean, season two. Wait, season two. Season yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? Which, uh, yeah. Fingers crossed. I, yeah. would, I would love to go back and continue on. Um, okay, so we're gonna mostly, we, don't, we wanna stay away from spoilers today, but there is a lot of pregame that happened before the cameras were rolling on episode one. So we're gonna talk a lot about that today. Are so you talking about pregame? Oh, um, because there's some of the, be the best, some of the best stuff, <laughs> some of the best stuff, okay. my favorite memories are pregame. And I am yeah. laughing because oh. I'm remembering moments. Okay, well then that, that leads that me were really to, funny. Uh, and we didn't film all of it, but we filmed no. some of it. We did film some of it. Yeah. Uh, some of it was done on like an unfinished set. We had like unpainted walls, and but we were doing camera tests yeah. and also actually playing, because we wanted to play our characters up to level five before we started the, the the campaign that is season one. Yeah. Yeah. Next but, road to ready to roll, we'll show some of it. Yeah. Um, or, your sorry, road to ready to roll. comment sets yeah. up one of my questions. All right. Which is for everyone. Yep. Uh, what moment from pre-gameplay stands out to you the most? Ooh, interesting. Who wants to start with that, anybody? Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say my. What? what? You're allowed to say anything. It's a filthy and, talk. And our, okay, so <laughs> there was pre-gameplay that was actually like uh, canon, and then there was the training with Sam. Sam, Sam yeah. that was and that, that was just, like yeah. I mean, how much has your brain I mean, been, like just yeah. merged okay, that? But that's actually yeah. still canon because technically we shared. That was like a shared yeah. fever dream. dream. This is true. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, no, my thing was um, because you had started play testing and like the 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 like the pregame stuff before I was. Yep. hired at the company be, before I was kind of like cast in the ch chair uh, to play with, with y'all. So I came in maybe like a few sessions into that. Quite, quite a few. Yeah. Technically and, from the very beginning, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and when I jumped in, you were like all, already in like some like significant hairy events. There was a, a centaur who was uh, uh, very snobby. Uh, that Matt as, loved. As, as I recall. <laughs> Friggin' um, centaurs. There was someone who tried to lick toad skin. Uh, there was <laughs> someone who stole like a metal brazier to Sanguine. carry around Sanguine. with yep. them. Um, Which we actually need to explain because otherwise that comment makes absolutely no sense. And it, it, it tells it's actually, that it's, it's like, D&D. &D. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> well, it sounds like I'm asking Sanguina to flash hammer lane, but no, she kept the chainmail bra. And so I'm like, whip out your titty thing. And then it's just not addressed at all. And I, I, I've lost sleep it's over a, that. It's a pregame thing. Yeah, it was a chain, it was a chain mail bikini top. Uh, yeah, but the, thing, the thing that I remember the most was my very first game. Um, you arrived late to the day because you had come back from a music oh festival. Oh my God, that's right. <laughs> and you <laughs> fucking looked like you had just come back from a music <laughs> festival. You looked like you brought some of that music festival back with you. The music kinda was did. probably still playing in my head. <laughs> and, yeah, and, 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 and you were like, Woo, all right, let's play. <laughs> and I was like, this is gonna be a weird game of stuff. <laughs> so that's what I remember the, the, the most. I should rewatch that because yeah. I'm, I remember being very impressed with myself because I was awake for approximately 72 hours of that point. <laughs> oh boy. Oh God. Yeah. Okay. Are, are you, you okay? I'm asleep. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> all right. No, because uh, I think I was the only one that fell asleep at the D&D &D table. Yeah, but you, <laughs> you, you were drugged. I was drugged. Not... Do you remember I had... I, had had but that was, for... that was during actual gameplay. Gameplay, not, yeah, not, not pre-game. Pre How did we edit well, around that? No, there was the pre-game time too that I'm not sure we're allowed to talk about. <laughs> Don't talk about it! I love <laughs> talking about things we're not allowed to talk about. Uh, uh, no, okay. we're, we're Canadian, yeah, we might so I don't well. see how it we matters. Might as well. We don't talk about Fight Club. Uh, yeah, you can talk about it. Uh, yeah, but somebody had a vape. Yeah. And was vaping, <laughs> and Beb thought it was like... It was me. I had the vape. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You know, tobacco, yeah, nicotine ben, vape. It was not was like, tobacco, and oh. I have never 
done drugs before in my life. And then they're like, okay, rolling. And I, I was like, oh, like, what is that, peppermint? They're like, uh. No, no, what like, you said, what? I, you asked, oh, can I have some of that? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I handed it to you. And you were like pulling on it. You're like, oh, that's an interesting flavor. What flavor is that? And I was like, it's, it's weed flavor. And you were like, you were like, <laughs> weed flavor? And I was like, yeah, it, it's, yeah. it's weed. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, you guys, <laughs> just you suddenly guys. were like, what? Yeah. Guys, I've never, I've never, what, what's gonna happen? I'm frightened. And I don't, I think I, you were okay. never much of the rest of the game. She, she rolled that 20s all day. 20s all game, yeah. let's go. Boom, and ate boom. the entire crafty table that yeah. day. <laughs> that um, was a good day. Oh, and to clarify, uh, we shot the gameplay for this two years ago. Yeah. Just oh, over yeah. two years ago. Um, and we were doing a whole uh, very ambitious thing of shooting the gameplay first, using it as a guide track, and shooting live action reenactments, full fantasy reenactments, full set builds, hair, makeup, props, all that stuff. And we might have overextended ourselves a little bit. Well, I mean, there's the pandemic to Kenya. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, and we also had there. a year and a half long delay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, and we when we tried to keep going during the pandemic, but uh, that was it was difficult. It was very difficult and expensive. for for not a big uh, <laughs> Hollywood production company. Yeah. So it was very difficult. There yeah. was there is going to be a great story through Road to Ready to Roll that explains all of that in more detail because it really is an interesting story about what it took to make this show yeah. and to get us where we are today. Yeah. Um, and it was a hell of a ride. Yes. But, also, uh, it's a really great framework to be like, hey check out this super cool idea for a show that we have. Mm -hmm. We've got parts of it. If you like what you see, then we can get like outside attention, outside funding, yep. and we can make more. Yeah. We can make more now that people are season vaxxed. Two. And yeah. Season two. Like, no, but again, I'm like so focused on like, let's make a season two, but we're just launching tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, thing, no. the thing I'm hype about is like, is like all the extra stuff is amazing, but it doesn't work unless the game works. The game is the yes. core and the foundation of it, and that's what, like, the viewer gets to see yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, t -t 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 tomorrow and th 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 throughout. So, mm -hmm. like, like to get to see, like, it's like. It's like without the icing, the cake is still gonna taste good. It yeah. just isn't gonna look as flashy. It's very right? moist. But it, it's a very moist cake. cake. Uh, but no, like it's. I it's, hate it's, all of those. <laughs> I, mean, I was like talking about this thing that I love, and I was like, ah. Uh, and then, and then were like, and the, and that was a uh, record cake. scratch. Moment. Sponge. Um, <laughs> but no, like it is like if you're if you like the game, if you like what we have to offer in that department, you're gonna love. Yeah. What comes after that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and like uh, uh, as long as we're speaking of the game, props to Roz and Matt for making the world yeah. uh, yes. in which the game takes place. Props to Roz for running a hell of a game. Uh, and I yeah I I I can't wait to. Skip. I, re I rewatch those those. Parts. What you're saying is queuing up other questions that I have well, for them about making yeah, the world, right. but okay, I want to no. hear other people's answers about what their favorite pregame moments were. Sorry. Mine was either the puzzle that we completely freaking failed at. Ah. Which like it had like a whole bunch of symbols on it when we were trying to match the thing, and so it was like, but like we just fought the bone devil. So like, I think Sanguina was covered in entrails because she wanted to wear some of them, and that had made. I think I was pretty gooey too because I was. Yeah, I think corpse. I had thrown up on you, gooey. or you had thrown up on me, and then there was like a heart. So I tried to show it like some tasteful side boob, and it like kind of opened, and I was like, great, okay. And then I think, I think our characters ended up. Kiss, I kissed yeah. you on the cheek or something, and then yeah. the thing opened, but it was like but I was we vomiting and you were covered in guts. <laughs> yeah. It was it was like Romantic. a weirdly yep. but also like there's so many great senoisms. And I think like when we were doing the the test, oh. um, the test uh, like shooting at the actual table in the unpainted set, but then we did some of the reenactments actually just behind this wall. Yep. And it's Seno wearing tights and he's like pulled up his robes and he's like, I'm coming, <laughs> Seno is coming, Seno's coming to save you. And, it's so right. like, I mean, so what, what does he wear under his robes question that, was so yeah. good. My and pants. And put it in some I'm not yeah. wearing robes. I'm wearing pants and a cloak. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hadn't seen you in your costume then. And so it was just all up to the imagination. You had very vividly purple fishnet tights on. And I don't, yeah, that was probably the from the mistaken <laughs> incident. But also put it in some milk. Needs yeah, to put, be, it in, put yeah. it in some milk is probably which, the most memorable. To line? which, to understand that, yeah. you have to understand that Sanguina had, oh. We're going to come back to Sanguina. 
Yes. We've got a couple things from chat. Quickly, there's a what's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? Okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's find out so, what's in the box. So uh, this time's trivia question will be brought to you by Matt Baker. Sweet. All right. Uh, and just to remember, chat, first correct answer to this trivia question wins. It gets to pick one, box. what was the first one? One, two, four, or five to win the corresponding prize underneath the box. Matt. Okay. <laughs> Who, other than Gary Gygax, whom we all know, created oh, Dungeons and Dragons? Ooh, spicy. In your skin? Ooh. Yeah, I wish I knew that first part too. Yeah. It, All right. It gets overshadowed. <laughs> I, I, I didn't remember it, but I right, knew that there was a co creator because I'd recently like looked it up for something and saw it and it was like, Gary Gygax and. Oh. Nurmur Nurmur wins. Nurmur! Nurmur! Nur -mur. Nur -mur. The answer is Dave Arneson. Yep. Oh. Nice. Sweet. Uh, okay. Uh, Nern Murmur. Nern Murmur. <laughs> Just a really fun name to it say. It is. Uh, <laughs> one, two, nerd four, murmur. or five. So to say. Waiting to see. Um, yeah, uh, you were saying. Sanguina. I'm saying Sanguina. Some milk. So yeah, Sanguina had. Uh, I, and you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but there, uh, Roz. But I'm pretty sure Sanguina was the one who botched, and then she was trying to make it through a tight corridor. And you were in her way. I was in her way, and she had her elbows up. She had spikes on her elbows. She was going all crazy. And then because of her botch, she knocked my tooth clean out. And uh, I love doing that when someone botches in a party. That you know, you roll a one, but the worst thing that could possibly happen to you is you completely fork up everything for your teammates. Yeah. That's my favorite. <laughs> and you'll see that. <laughs> That plays out throughout the series, wasn't but that's there, when it happened. Wasn't part of it a contested strength roll as well, and you rolled really low and she beat you there? Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. I don't, yeah, maybe. I, I don't remember so. that. But, but I don't recall that, that part where I rolled low. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that didn't happen. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't then, my fault at all. Yeah, and the tooth knocked out, and that was when Seno yelled out, put it in some milk it to some save milk. the tooth. Which is not what you do with a tooth that's Yes, it out. is. Yes, it is. Is it really? Yes, it is. When you lose a tooth. milk has lactic acid in it, which actually does, despite what the the dairy industry will have you believe isn't actually good for your teeth. Yes, but it has a lot of calcium and stuff. You, if you leave it in there for a long time, it's gonna, still going to go bad. Yeah, but, but like, don't keep a weird toothy milk no, sure, shot no glass short on term. I looked this up after this happened. Th this, this is to like get to the dentist. Mine. 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 Number two. Okay, you get a baby, a, a, the child, a Grogu there mug, you go. and he's growing a cute and it's I got a space daddy on the box. Space <laughs> daddy. Not to be space confused daddy. with the sky daddy. Yeah. So congratulations. No, sky daddy is Alex. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. Not to be confused. And congratulations, Nerd daddy. Murmur. You have uh, won a uh, Mandalorian Grogu mug. Sky daddy. Well done. So congratulations. There you go. Uh, send us a whisper in Twitch uh, DM chat and uh, give us your info and we'll send it off to you. Okay. Uh, Favorite moments. Uh, yeah, you, that's man, that is hard. There were so your, many great. Was it the tooth knockout thing. No, or? that was my favorite moment. Oh. It pissed me off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a little vain. <laughs> now that I know, I rolled. Yeah. You get it fixed. Uh, it, did oh, spoiler, get, spoiler. it did get fixed, but you'll see oh, that coming later. Um, no, I, you know that's really tough. So, uh, out of curiosity, are we limited? So far, everybody's talked about their favorite moments that were at at the table, not with Sam. It was the so our, our dreamscape was it. I've, dreamscape. I've got a Sam one. Yeah, because yeah, like, yeah. I'm I have a toss up here between when the uh, when I had to stab a beast that I was trying to save and mm. uh, the, the uh, manticore. The manticore yeah. uh, that I, I was I was desperately <laughs> trying to make a pet and didn't and I I had to kill it. But you know I think my the most fun moment I had when we were playing with Sam was we had a uh, we had. We had to travel a great distance, and um, <laughs> and there was this was it a rock giant? It was like a I don't remember something like that. Hill it giants, was it was like a hill giant, a rock giant, and it was kind of looked like it was asleep. And then when we got up to it, it woke up and it it held out its hand. And uh, the two first people to climb into its hand were Rurik and Alany, and they uh, and the giant immediately. We, we climbed onto Rurik's shield and yep. it launched us through the air and we flew like miles. Real fast. <laughs> miles. It was like a journey. There was time, time to do yeah. stuff really? in the air. Time to do stuff and what yeah. did you do? Yeah. Well, first I serenaded. Yes. Yeah. Uh, by singing uh, A Whole New World yeah. uh, in Alanis' voice. Yeah. Uh, which, Don't you dare close your eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a whole new world. <laughs> 
it was great. It was just beautiful. It sounds um, like every cigarette you've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then I, I think I peed on Rurik's back. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah, there was some excrement as well. There was. Yeah, but I, yeah. I, I know that we got who... cleaned before we hit the ground. Well, yeah, because we the, the wind velocity, you got like when the storm. Was there, there was there was a storm and like a like a storm elemental or something that we yeah came and a jug of never ending water. That, then yeah. I got from the storm elemental. Yeah. That's the right. Thorough rinse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doesn't uh, end. <laughs> you, you said you had one from from Sam's face stuff as well. Yeah. Um, the day where we were fighting the dragon, uh, and uh, yeah. we figured out a great move of like, mm -hmm. uh, I Seno can see in magical darkness, so uh, we had. I don't remember the name of it now. Is it just darkness? The spell. The spell. The spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, um, uh, it's like the the monk's shadow technique. I can cast certain spells as a monk. Even yeah. So, did that, and we like did all this damage, and Aaron was just like whiffing everything she tried. As she does. And uh, <laughs> until she finally has her crossbow and little like plink, and that killed the dragon. <laughs> it was the plink and I walk away. I one shot a dragon, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. No, no big deal. <laughs> yeah. She shot down the, it was my, it's Slay the pink, and she does the turn to walk. Meanwhile, all of us are like, Come on! <laughs> we did all sweating. Hate is gonna hate. Cool paladins don't look at exploding, falling dragons. Yeah. <laughs> Winning my paladin flaps, man. Uh, that was a good moment. No, Roz. Paladin flaps originated, I think, oh, in the shoot. same one yeah. when you guys were flying on the. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that where that first came from? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Oh right, because oh. I was like, oh, my tabard is flapping in the wind, you know, my and they're like, you're what? And I'm like, my my paladin flaps, my my because my paladin flap. I, I don't I, want to toot my own horn, but I said paladin flap. You did. <laughs> and it stuck. Horn it. I'll, I'll get a tattoo stuck. for you somewhere, but you're going to hate it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there, was, uh, there was also a moment, I guess my, it's not my favorite moment, but it's one of the most memorable, is we were walking up a tree that had a spiral staircase around it, and the staircase took forever. Yep. And it's when, uh, there's, a, there's a thing you'll see in the show that Alan does as Elendar, where... He basically, it's, it's sort of a shtick where uh, after a thing has been established, he'll present it as new information. Yeah, um, I'll take, I take my time. Oh, you know, yeah. And then I present it as new information. Yes, and uh, uh, Rurik was struggling up the stairwell and walking for a very long time and making it very, not very far. And uh, Elendar said something very helpful. Mm. And he said, yeah, thanks, Tips. And that's where, that's where Tips came from. Yeah. It's also the first time we split the party. And was it? Yeah, it was the first. We had not split ah. the party as a group until then. And Alani, for the first time, split the party. And that becomes a theme. And uh, <laughs> the price every time since. Yeah. Oh, God damn. Um, Roz, do you have a pregame memory? Like favorite moment in the pregame stuff? Yeah. I mean, oh. I, I think one of my favorite moments was how Sanguina chose to introduce herself. You know, <laughs> I in the pregame, yes. she's meeting you guys for the first time, oh, and she's there? like, "Is there like a something on the wall?" And then she decides that there's this like bear head on the wall, and she's like, "I want to jump out from the bear head." Yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna talk about. Uh creating her character. Oh, oh that yeah, was awesome. That's, where she yeah. also, yeah. that's an amazing yeah. story that's also. Uh, yeah. We sat down, she'd never played, so I did a character creation with her. Uh, the whole thing we went through, cr set her up as a rogue assassin. It was great. Um, uh, human rogue right? assassin. Yeah. Then we sat down at the table and started to play, and uh, suddenly she just was talking and was like, a vampire. and. Both, I thought she discussed it with Roz, and Roz thought she discussed it with me, and so we just didn't say anything and let it go. <laughs> and then afterwards, we were like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> and then she just made up her mind. Classic yeah. middle yeah. child move. Yeah, yeah. 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 She, she was just like, "And I'm a vampire," and I was like. Okay, um, be right back while I go design your entire class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. That's right, because... Yeah. Uh, entirely new, like, system for her, so she could be half 
vampire spawn and still like do adventures and stuff with you guys. So it totally yeah. new it like fun. yeah. yeah. Oh, it ended yeah. up being super interesting for role playing because like paladin no likey undeady and yep. cleric has necromancing abilities. Turns out Alan yeah. really likes You're Undeady. To... <laughs> no, I, I could, I could, uh, it, and it never comes up, so this, oh, ooh. No, it I did mean, in pregame, because you had. It did in pregame. You were but dragging I, corpses but, around but for But that was, uh, uh, that was a little whistle that I found in the pregame, oh. is yeah. that I had this little dragon whistle that could resurrect the dead. Right. And what did you uh, resurrect that pissed everybody off so much? Oh, yeah, you found that in, like, the very Dragon. first. Yeah. 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 And you like, dragged one, that body one with one us forever. Three that I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God, original... We're going to have to make, like, a, like, a type of thing, like a, like a written part of like all of our oh, recounts yeah. of yeah. this we, and then animate it or something. Because there's uh, so still much great stuff. Visual comic brains. books, obviously. That's yeah. what I was... <laughs> yeah. That actually did remind me of what another great moment, though, was with Alany and Sanguina's first sort of connection, connecting moment, where oh. uh, was, this was back when Matt was DMing the game, and, uh, and, and Sanguina suddenly needed to feed. And so uh, Alan didn't want Sanguina feeding on people in the city. And so he offered for her to feed on him. And we hid in a little bush in the middle of a town. And, uh, and she started a, feeding on me, yeah, to which docks, Matt right? had guards immediately yeah. find us. Yeah, they were in an alley. And that I was, was like, awkward. are you sure you want to feed on somebody in the daytime? Yeah, you like, still, yeah, yeah. <laughs> were you still DMing at that point? Yeah. Uh, well, I was DMing the practice games. Yeah. No, I know, but I, okay. He was DMing that moment, because there's, I remember yeah. that. There's that was whole, the first okay, game I ever moment. played yeah. with you guys. Yeah. And, uh, oh. yeah. And we, were, we were by the docks in that town. Yeah. And I remember, I didn't know any of you very well, and, like, I had just come from this completely academic, business, like, capitalist world, and was just sitting, like, finding myself in this studio, at this table, just like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, is you're, this? You're, you're, this is you're my new like, job. There's what? a there's a document for that. I'm yeah. Sure. Oh, and I remember <laughs> Alan. The only way Alan could explain it away to the guards was he just said it was weird sex stuff. Yeah, kinky. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. It's just weird sex stuff. It's fine. We're into it. It's all right. Don't I'm into it. it. By the by the time I got into the game, by the time I joined the game, that had been already established. Like you and Shay, or rather, like Alani and Sanguina, had a system in place. Yeah. Like, I'm hungry. Yeah. You're like, well, here's a straw. And I'm like, <laughs> and like, I, my character came in, and I was like, yeah, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Um, oh my God. Uh, you have more questions. Sorry. I, I, yes. we're, we're not getting through all of them. That's fine. Yeah. I over Pick your I usually do. Right. Uh, I'm right. I do want to ask this one of Matt and Roz. So, as the co creators of Altero, the homebrew world that we are playing this game in, uh, how much of Kaiman, which is the country the show takes place in, was established prior to the campaign, mm -hmm. and how much, no spoilers, mind you, was created as a result of the campaign? Oh, almost all of it was created for the campaign. Oh, so it wasn't populated? Uh, we knew what the capital was, and like, like... slow, sort of what the culture and stuff was, but actual details. Uh, we d and history and stuff we didn't have yet. And that there's mm. something, an interesting point there that I learned at the end of the entire show, so 27 episodes later, was how uh, racist towards orcs that part of the world was. <laughs> uh, which, which suddenly explained a lot of things that you'll see. <laughs> a lot of people explained a lot of things in that story, but I didn't know that they had hunted the orcs to extinction in that area of the world. Uh, okay. Well, let's try and get through this one quickly. Uh, but no, when we made the show, we knew that we were aiming to reenact the gameplay. Uh, and that affected how we created our characters. So a question yeah. for everyone <laughs> is if we, uh, how did I word this? Uh, if we weren't limiting ourselves with reenactments in mind, what would have been different about your character? I may automatically may not have been a, like as humanoid a character. Yeah, I was going to be a dragonborn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. uh, um, also, I think if we weren't limited by reenactments, I may have played, and this is hard to imagine now, and definitely hard to imagine from me, I may have played a, a mute character. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. And you're right, hard to imagine from me. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? That's, Who is that's that? obviously O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> O'Brien. That's like, 
our that's sound. Like, that's like the sound. equivalent of uh, uh, taking Deadpool the Merc with a mouth and taking his mouth away. Yeah. Right. Did somebody but do that once? Maybe. <laughs> no, Maybe no, no, a no, bad no, idea. No, it's it's not that because this character hadn't been established as a, a mouthy <laughs> character, and I like playing one against type and by 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 path like playing two types. So I would have just been like. Like a, a like a mute slapstick, oh character. But still, as Elendar the Silent. Yeah. So you would have gone fully the Silent, like Vow of Silence. Yeah. I mean, it would have been an interesting story. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been, been really like, easy it, it, for yeah. been, It would have been a lot of fun to yeah. like, but but I, I think for the purposes of like the table and stuff, I was kind of hesitant, and I, I decided against yeah. it. So it, there. So like the character kind of ends up being someone who um, wants to be that. He wants to be that like hard and quiet type, and instead he's just like like a wannabe. He's a poser. Yeah. yeah, he's a poser. He's a poser. Yeah, he's a poser. He's, he's putting on. Pretty badass. He's he was not a like, poser. He can be. He's just at the beginning of his career yeah. towards right. that. Right. But he yeah. thinks he's at the end. He's, he's, he's faking it. Yeah, he's trying like real hard. <laughs> he's, yeah. hard. he's very much a try hard. Uh, Bev, would anything have been different about yours? Well, I was really, and I was, uh, I was talking uh, to a good friend of mine last night, and he was saying how much he loves his ranger and how he's always a ranger, and I was like, son of a bitch, I'm always a ranger. And But then Alania was already well established, and I, I I had had a ranger, and I'd had, uh, nope, I'd only ever played a ranger. Oh, no, maybe a rogue. Okay. In high school, I'm trying to remember, or sorry, that was in university. I forget what my character was. I'm full on spacing on what my character was. But Would you have been a different race, other than half-elf? Oh, no, baby, I always wanted pointy ears. I wasn't gonna, like, no way. Um, maybe full elf. Oh, okay. Maybe full elf. Because I was like, oh, I don't think I'm tall enough, and I'm a little bit, man. And we already had a wood elf, and I was like, God damn it. I like Half elf felt comfortable. But also, because of the class that I took, it, it fit really nicely into the, like, because they have the national, um, they get, like, uh, diplomacy bonus and stuff. And I was like, oh, oh. Well, that fit really well mm. into the class. But I, I totally, because my World of Warcraft character was a paladin. I was a paladin all throughout that, um, my career in WoW there. Um, but I wow really there. wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most Canadian version of World of Wow, eh? Yeah. It's wow there. Oh, yeah. wow there, eh? Uh, but I definitely would have gone Druid. Oh, oh interesting. Because that was, it's like, I. Oh, man, you totally could have gone Druid. Well, I'm yeah. very, very hands on yeah. in, like, I gotta that have a balance a between, like, if for Skyrim, for Bioshock, like, I'm, I'm so, like, I try to evenly divide between some spell casting ability because if you exist in a world without magic and you're not using it, what are you even doing? Yeah. But then also when your mana is out, that's when the smashy smashy comes in, right? Yeah. So it, I was I was really divided between a paladin and a druid, um, but then because of the the element of like having to account for vis effects and I also like D and D spell casting was a little bit daunting to me, so there was a bit less of that in the paladin thing. But then the whole I was up for uh, a Rotary Peace Fellowship at the time, so social justice was just so ingrained into my consciousness. Oh. Um, at like especially at that time. I mean, that explains a lot. That explains by, a by lot. So you I was understand like, that even as yeah. of tomorrow. I yeah. well, I've always been this like this like super justice oriented little pain in the ass to everybody around me. So like that, the paladin was the natural choice. But I would have really loved to play a druid and just like shift into a spider and eat a bunch of people. Like, and that really sets sure. up another question I was going to ask, but. Would you have changed anything about your character? <laughs> <laughs> Having chosen the most difficult one to do in reenactments anyways. Yeah. Um, it's, no ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's, so, okay, I, I chose a half orc because I wanted there to be, I wanted there to at least, at least be one sort of. Non, as, as far from human? Yeah, as far from human character as there could be. I, I thought it was important that we did one at least. Mm. And I was willing to sit in the makeup chair to do it. So that was that was something I agreed with myself, and I went, okay, we're gonna do this. I agreed with myself. I agreed with myself, yeah, and we're gonna do this. Not psychotic at all. Having, <laughs> having, Get the bag. Are we gonna do this? Yeah, we can do this. <laughs> but having spoken to Sarah Elizabeth after the fact, and you say Dragonborn and all that kind, of, which I would've also looked at it. It sounds like it would have been easier. Been, we could have right? created like a cowl, like a full creature suit. Yeah, it just like put it on. Easier and harder in a bunch of different ways. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know, three and a half, four hours in the makeup chair every morning, 
I loved it. Those makeup. The makeup people are makeup peeps, awesome people, good times. It was great. Well, it really made it a lot better for the rest of us with kind of intense makeup and hair builds because it was like, oh, I don't have it as bad as he is. I can't complain. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Matt, would you have changed? I think, oh, no, one thing I would have changed, Ooh. I would have gotten rid of the contacts. <laughs> <laughs> Try me a liver. No, no. <laughs> oh. Um... I probably would not have been human. Uh, Seno is possibly the only human character I've ever played for more than a one shot. Interesting. And even then, he's probably, like, I've maybe played two or three human characters. And you chose yeah. human, uh, I remember a conversation with you where you were like, yeah, I don't want to spend forever in the makeup chair. Like, you, you wanted to go. Uh, mo it wasn't that I would mind being in the makeup chair for a long time, it was, I just, Someone needed to just be a human. Oh, and, that's fair. Uh, because I was going to be somebody from the area anyways to account for knowing so much about the world. Uh, it, you know, it's a mostly human area. It just made sense to be human. Yeah. But, uh, like, don't play it off like it's boring. Seno, like, I love you all so dearly, like, with all the depths of my heart. Don't, but Seno's don't. easily he's, my favorite character. He's, yeah, he's, he's like, like, his, he's his mine humor, too. his, like, I just did smart. dumb stuff and people like this. The it. fact so that you low-key <laughs> looks like a women's Why? studies professor, like. Yeah. And, and arguably has one of the most interesting story arcs throughout the season. No spoilers. Yeah. I'm not giving a spoiler. <laughs> just the most interesting was, story arc throughout just, the season. It was clearly very well thought out. Yeah. Um, I love that you accounted for your meta knowledge of the world in character. That's really smart. Yeah. Like, like the 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 other way to take that is to play someone really stupid, <laughs> right? But, but you didn't do that. You 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 kind of gave you gave yourself the role of the expo guy uh. in in the in the. Yeah. And the like hard to access fantasy novel from the fifties. It's like, but well, it was I so have you know, massively these are RP'd too. Uh, yeah. Like I remember sitting down again. I didn't know you very well. You helped me build RN. You were like sort of the person I went to with the D and D questions. And then we sat down at that table, and you shifted into a phenomenally different person. And I just remember like just like like looking, just being like, who is this? Like what? I had goosebumps. It was amazing. Uh, it, it shows. That's, that's it, very flattering. I, no, just like, I was like, yeah, I was okay. <laughs> no, you, killed it. you did kill it. Uh, uh, yeah. But no, that set me up and gave me permission to like really like kind of, and I admittedly didn't get into it. Like I, I still was really shy. So I'm, I'm, he I'm angry at myself for being as shy as I was with role playing like early on. But you can see as the episodes got on, I yeah. got a lot and more I, comfortable. You, know, but you opened those gates, man. I, I, I do have to say just on that sort of to that degree, and, you know, because it was our first time playing as well. Yep. I mean, now we did all the pregame stuff and, and all of that. But, it, you know, this all started from a place of if you wanted to play D&D, &D, how would you do it as a show? Mm -hmm. And that was our first conversation. That was what you came to me with. And that was awesome. And, um, but I, you know, and I, I wish Shay was here right now because she was the wild card that really just, you never knew what was going to happen with Shay. And I love that. I love that about her. I love what she brought to the table with that. Mm -hmm. But it was playing with this group of people that randomly came together, you know? I mean, how we met everybody, where you guys came from, it was, you know, all recommendations of just, hey, here's somebody cool you should meet. And that was one of the most fun times I've ever had playing with a group of people. And, and the game, I think, is so amazing and the story is so amazing because of the fun we had at that table together. Well, th this episode's called Don't Split the Party. And I do think who we landed on really brings <laughs> the reasoning why it's called a party. Yeah. Like, we're, we're a little unruly at the table. We and, ended up yeah. being so perfect. And we had so much fun. Like, yeah, it was a I'm like, I have a, a little bit of a like, lump in my throat. Like, often to the detriment of the production. Oh, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like yes, we Ross talks the bitch. We would get <laughs> talked to at the end of every, at the end of every episode. We'd, and... we'd walk out and somebody would be like, you got to stop the crosstalk. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you yeah. got to stop it. And yeah. it would never happen. Uh, it got a little better. No. Uh, yeah. It gets better. It's so hard, though. D&D well, without crosstalk. Talk is barely D and D. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. want to get into it. Emotions get heated, like when you're role playing and stuff, and like you, like yeah. especially when we were killing Pepper, when you guys killed Pepper. Well, oh, Jesus! In the pregame, that's, that's pregame. Pepper was pre the toad that I licked. Um, but, <laughs> I know, killed Pepper. Yeah, but like we connected, and I, I could read his thought. thoughts, and he could read my thoughts, and so I was like, I had this like very connect, like 
sentimental connection to this toad. So like that, and I remember just being like so livid and we were blah, 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 blah. And they were like, and that was when I think they really came down on us for cross talking because that was like a heated, like we were standing up at this table about killing this freaking toad. Were we? Yeah. yeah was that on camera? Everybody was so no, angry with me. So. No, it was the last game. Yeah. It was the last game? It was the last, the last game when I no, killed Pepper. No, 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 because the Bone Devil stuff came the, later. The, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Still yeah, yeah. We did record it, it, when we had the whole team the second to last game. Was, no, was the Dragon episode. Was the last Oh, it was last one. It was the very last oh, game. Oh, then it the must be recorded. So it we would must be, have it on camera. The Dragon's be. not, no. It was no. the episode no, the before not. I arrived. But the yeah. Pepper because was when I got there, the Toad was dead. Yeah, and we still yeah. Uh, Just an example of our crosstalk. You yeah. arrived right Welcome after. Welcome to our crosstalk <laughs> podcast. We have a question from chat. Oh, okay. I was going to ask, how's the chat doing? Everything's really quiet and it's making me anxious. This is a crazy panel. Yeah, it's doing great. <laughs> you do. Uh, they it. they want to know, because Trevor didn't answer, what would you have changed? If, yeah. Well, he had said he wanted oh, to be a said, dragonborn. Yeah, basically, basically it, the biggest change would have been, I, I mean, I might have chosen a different... Oh, yeah. Okay, this is a whole weird thing, because... Uh, uh, Alany and Rurik were part of the, like, like from the inception of the idea and starting to learn to play and go from level one up, uh, we didn't have a tank. We didn't have a paladin yet. Oh, so, that was the other reason I went paladin, is y'all needed a tank. Yeah, and, and, oh, and Rurik uh, was a cleric who also was a war domain cleric so that he could, oh. like, uh, uh, and you know, blacksmith thing, and, like, I... That all was stuff that I probably would have had to have done at the time, but I did want to be a dragonborn. Um, but that also might have informed a different change in class and everything. But he was a cleric who could heal and also wore chainmail, so he had a nice. So I was like a healing tank. Like yeah. a, it, You're a Hank. I'm a Hank. Yeah. yeah, but then that went away. So I was like, I don't, I'm, nope, not, not to t- tank it much anymore. Take it from a veteran paladin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't uh, heal and tank at the same time. Your mana reserves will always be too low. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, <clears throat> Chef Cards, Cards wants you to tell everybody about the time he TPK'd y'all. What? I don't remember that. That's not weird. Did that happen? We got run down by centaurs. Was like, I there for we, that? Like, we, we got like cavalried. Oh, wait, like wait. a cavalry I rush. I remember that. Was I hit in the head? Was I there for that? Yeah, I don't remember uh, that at all. I don't yeah. know if I was there. You would have been. I think so, yeah. yeah? Oh, no, I yeah. do I remember mean, this. I mean, unless you, you just happened is. to miss that one. You might have missed that was in our, dream, yeah. in our dreamscape world? Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, I think that's what on. sent us into the dreamscape world, wasn't it? No, it was very early on in the dreamscape. Yeah. <clears throat> we were already in the phase. Oh, no, no. But yeah, we didn't get... Hold on. I do remember this. We didn't get... Oh, yeah, we got knocked out. And then we woke up in a in a yeah. new part of the world. It yeah. was by, he created, he did that to move us into a new space. I assume, uh, by the way. I uh, think it, it was done talks. as a smarten up and learn how to do, play with strategy. Yes. Because you think that was the I like first to think that it, he did this to move us. <laughs> you guys didn't even know, but at the time, because I was working somewhere else, that in order to prep for ready to roll, I would send Sam messages about what you guys might be facing in terms of like, I need them to practice these skills. And he'd be like, I'm on it. And then he would design this amazing adventure so you could practice it. And then he would tell me, they did. Yeah, they all died. TPK. <laughs> 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 so we were ready talk. to go. <laughs> ready to roll. It was, hey. We had a D&D it's trainer. It's amazing we didn't keep like a DM squirt bottle and just like, I'm going to, no. Uh, there, I've ooh. done a lot of the editing and stuff for the episode, so I've watched them all many times. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a good show. It's a good show. I swear. Uh, so many times. And it that is a great show. I love watching it. Uh, but it's a lot. Uh, but there was so many times where watching it after, and I'm just like, Roz is so clearly trying to tell us yep. to stop and do something else. And, and we're the like, like, DM doesn't want to say it out loud, yeah. but I also, we are just oblivious to it. <laughs> but I got I to gotta say, Roz also did a lot of like red herring stuff that you hammered heavy on, which distracted yeah. us over to things. Well, like, yeah. No, we can't. Did you see that? Who am I? I'm gonna, so we did no, avoid spoilers, yeah. so we avoid spoilers, and we are very running out of time. Uh, I, I wanted to ask this question, I debated asking it right off the top, but I wanna know everyone's biggest hopes and biggest fears in regards to the premiere tomorrow. 
What does that mean? Oh. That's a deeply personal question. <laughs> <laughs> I've been anxious about this shit for two and a half years now. Oh. I mean, you can keep it as surface as you want. You don't have to be completely. No, that's it's not, not a therapy who I session. am, dude. You know that. <laughs> um, okay, well, I'll start off. You know, I think obviously my biggest fear would be that people watch it and they're like, these people suck and I hate you. But I don't think I mean, that's going to happen. I don't. I really don't believe that will happen. It might happen, but, it, but I don't trolls think are out there. But I don't think in general anybody aspect. would say that. My biggest hope is actually not even for you know. I mean, obviously everybody wants mass audience to watch this, and it turns into the biggest D and D thing in the world, and that's that's great. Really, I would love to see people watch it and just really love the story the way I love the story hmm. and and the characters. And if I could get that, I think that would be amazing. Yeah, well said. Uh, I, uh, I, I, you and I talked about this a little bit yesterday, and I said the the same thing then. Is that like I think of this like doing a stand up set? Oh like, yeah, yeah. It's like you go on stage and you're anxious, or, or, or rather, you're you're anxious just before you go on stage. That then you go up, you tell your jokes, you get um, a response. This is that just drawn out. So the anxiety <laughs> has kind of happened, and the performance has happened, but the response hasn't happened yet. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I'm just like, like I'm, I've, I'm not anxious about it at all. I will be anxious about it the hour before launch, <laughs> and then when it does launch, I, I will be a wreck. And then when it <laughs> does launch, I'll be fine. Yeah. Again, because like whatever they think is just well, well. Here we go. Yeah, right. Show yeah. That's baby. it. Right. We're off. So like it's it's like a very interesting stack of like this is fine. Ah! This is fine. Again. Yeah. <laughs> Don't read the comments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never read the comments. Uh, anything from Bev? Yeah. I mean, you touched on it for sure. Like, of course we want it to be the greatest thing in D&D. &D. And you know, in my mind, it will always be the greatest thing in my D&D &D experience, no, pretty much no matter what happens to me from this point. That's fair, yeah. But like, it is just such an artful campaign and story and world that you guys built. But it's like, it's like I've seen something that's magic and I, it's Plato's allegory of the cave because I've, I've seen something that had, yeah, it had the right moving pieces, everybody was in the right place at the right time, and it was a great idea. But the way, the intricate beauty and perfection with which all of those threads came together into this tapestry that's, that we're about to unveil, that is literally magic in my mind. Like, it, hmm. it, the way that it came together, that is the true beauty piece of it all. On, top of layer and layer and layer of beauty of hard work the the bittersweet poetry of like the hard earned like we the pandemic has hardened us all <laughs> whether we like to admit it or not but from like yeah, a professional yeah. standpoint but also for the show but how that has amassed into something beautiful it's not just that i want to share it with the world to be like hey this is a neat thing this is what i've spent the last two years of my life doing but all of the moving pieces, like the stuff that's made me cry, the stuff that's made me so angry that I've smashed dishes, the stuff that like I've lain awake sweating about, it, that's all in there too, on top of the stuff that like I've laughed till I've had tears coming out of my eyes, like I've laughed stuff out my nose. I've built these incredibly strong bonds with the people that I work with. I've been able to like build a really beautiful life for myself around this place in the studio, around this show. Um, but to be able to like whip the sheet back and be like, this is magic, that's not showmanship. It's, it's, it's me saying, there's actual magic here. You need to see this. Like, <laughs> look at this. Lo, behold. Like, this, is, this victory <laughs> belongs to no one freaking person. Like, I'm, I'm going to start to cry if I keep going. So I'm just going to okay. like. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Matt and Roz, do you guys want to weigh in on this at all? Uh, <laughs> Roz is. Figuring I will, out I will something do, in the do, chat. Do, do, oh, you're banning a bot? Oh, I will do that in a second. The first thing we need to do is... Box? There's a question that asks no. if you're the main character. Me? God, no. <laughs> <I'm> a, <laughs> my, my ongoing joke in the show, I mean, I'm the main character of my own story, that's what I said. But no, it's a party of six people. Um, or, you know, six yeah. dwarves, elves, and... 
Watch the show and tell us who you think the main character is. Um, yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah. But no, like, well, in his DM, I think, like, you did that really well is, like, we're all part of the story functioning. Like, and I don't know what that even looks like from the outside. I think I have to DM to fully understand, like, to which, to what extent each character fills, fills the time block. Mm. What were you, Matt? Uh, I mean, I think both, both my biggest fears and uh, hopes kind of ride on the world building. Uh, you know, it's rare that you even get players in your game that care about the world that you create. So the idea that, like, it's been crazy having, like, we come up with something and then people make it. And that's just bonkers. Uh, and, you know, people, we, recently there was a blogger that came by and chatted with us, and it was somebody not from here interested in the world, and that was crazy. Uh, and kind of my ultimate dream is to get to do, like, a campaign setting book or Hell something. Hell yeah. Uh, and my biggest fear is that people hate the world. Yeah. I doubt that'll happen. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. I doubt happen. that'll happen. It is an incredibly rich and I've wonderful seen world. Topographic maps that you guys have put together with like yeah. this is what happens when you let the science nerds design an entire <laughs> planet. They have biospheres, they have topography, geology, yeah. religious maps, demographics, population, <laughs> like astronomy. Like <laughs> multiversal machinations. Yeah. yeah. All right, Trevor, um, what about you? Okay. Uh, I I guess biggest hope. As a, uh, yeah, that's how I phrased it. So, uh, biggest hopes would be uh, uh, complete success. We hope you love the show. Uh, we hope we get every D and D fan says this is what we were finally looking for. Once you see not just the gameplay but the vignettes and mm. see the, the the vision of what we were trying to achieve, that we can do a season two fully realized. Uh, part of my biggest hope is creating a module for Altero where Matt and yeah. Oz get to design a Wizards of the Coast official fucking D and D module <laughs> of Altero that everyone can take home and play themselves with their very um, own Alany. Yeah, with that... a big picture of Aaron <laughs> on the front. <laughs> The main character, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and we have to go pretty soon, but someone in chat wants to know who is the best Eternal? Who is the best Eternal? Because Eternal. Eternals comes out tomorrow, which was oh, going to be my nerdiest thing, but we well, took way too long. But I read the Neil Gaiman one, and I really liked Gilgamesh. Done. Yeah. There you go, done. Okay, uh, so we do, we are, we're actually over time. Uh, so tomorrow, world premiere, ready to roll. Tune in here on Twitch from 1.30 to 6 o'clock-ish. Uh, we'll be going for the whole thing. Uh, the premiere's at 3.30, both on a filthy quest line on YouTube and here on Twitch. But the trivia and all the prizes, including a PS5 and a Nintendo Switch OLED, uh, that's just on Twitch. And take close attention, notes, pay attention, because trivia is how take you're going attention. to win. Uh, I've heard some of the questions. They're not easy. They're not easy. <laughs> and, uh, 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 and stay tuned, please. Uh, uh, let's throw the raid message into chat, please. We are going to raid uh, uh, SG Vigilante, who uh, uh, is a recent friend of mine I've met on Twitch. And uh, uh, check them out. They're a great streamer. And spam the raid message, give them a follow, all that stuff. If you want more behind the scenes, check out Road to Ready to Roll on our main channel. It fills a lot. <laughs> it will, it'll fill in some of these gaps. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, tune in tomorrow. And until next time, stay filthy. <laughs> <laughs>